What's up everyone, Aaron Nagler from PackersNews.com, video edition of Aaron's Answers during the offseason. I thought I'd add this to my weekly mailbag. You guys can give me a call on my voicemail, I've posted it on my Twitter. Every week I'll be doing this every Friday during the offseason, so send along your questions like this gentleman did. Hey Aaron, I have two quick Hi. personnel questions two. for you. Uh, right. One, why not bring Dayton back on a one-year prove-it deal? Okay. It worked for Perry last year, and it is frustrating to see the division rival do that instead. Um, Always the Vikings. Trying to understand right. that one. Also, too, was it never an option to sign Treader and kick Winsley to guard? I imagine Corey is certainly strong enough for the position, and that move certainly would have worked in men, so it almost guarantees it would have worked in real life. Right? <laughs> I'll let me know what you think. Uh, two really good questions. Uh, first of all, the Dayton thing i'm sure maybe they probably talked about it amongst themselves at 1265 lombardi but there was never any indication that they had planned on offering a one-year prove-it deal and i kind of understand it dayton's time in green bay was kind of marked with the tweener label you know where i know when they took him they they took him as a 3-4 defensive end obviously at the end of 2015 and then most of 2016 they tried him at the elephant end with his you know standing up and then they ended up kicking him to three tech and they kind of bounced him around and he never really found a spot, so to speak. And I think they appreciated his hustle. They appreciated everything he did for the organization. But at the end of the day, I understand why it was time to just let him go. And let's face it, Minnesota gave him that deal because a lot of people think he's a perfect fit for a 4-3 defensive end, which is what he'll be in Minnesota in Mike Zimmer's defense. So that move made a lot of sense for the Vikings. As far as Lindsley and possibly bringing back Treader, um, the thing with Treader is you knew he was going to get paid. You look at the deal that Cleveland gave him. I have to think Treader was dead set on hitting the market, no matter what the Packers' plans were, because there was no way they were going to give him the deal he ended up getting in Cleveland or would have gotten probably anyplace else on the open market. As for moving Lindsley to guard, that's something I know a lot of people ask about. I've never seen any kind of indication that the Packers would kind of go that way. He's never really ran there in training camp, in any of the practices we've seen. I think he's just a pure center. Now, could he handle it? I think so. Like you say, I think he's strong enough. But for the most part, I think they view him as a center and as their center of the future. I think he's one of the guys you'll see extended either this summer or sometime during this season prior to free agency next year when his deal is up. Um, thanks a lot for the questions. And everyone else, please feel free to give me a call. Like I said, find my Twitter. I always put my number up there. Uh, send me a voicemail or send me an email at anagler.gannett.com and I'll answer your questions all throughout the offseason. Thanks a lot, everyone.